Hey, good morning, YouTube. Uh, Alan back again, and today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, this is going to be kind of a, uh, a compilation video of a couple of different topics that I want to touch on. Um, and I want to kind of start it off with uh, mini spinners or micro spinners. Uh, what is a micro spinner? You know, what is what do you consider a micro spinner to me? I think anything that has a uh, spin uh, diameter less than uh, two inches kind of falls under that uh, mini or micro uh, spinner uh, version. Uh, I do have one here that is just about um, two inches, and this is the Thai EDC uh, tri spinner, uh, kind of a it's it's an Amazon spinner, a very nice uh, Amazon spinner, by the way. Um, and these are, I don't know, it's, I guess it's left up to a matter of interpretation by the user what is considered a micro or mini spinner. I think these are all pretty small uh, with the TIE EDC being the biggest one that I have here. But uh, the, pretty much the characteristics are all the same. They're small, they're pocketable. Um, for the most part, they're quiet. My Vorso flat top clone uh, definitely is not the quietest uh, spinner that I own. Um, actually, this is probably not even one of my favorites, actually, of all the ones that I have. I, I was basically kind of disappointed uh, with it from the beginning, but um, if you've seen my video on that, you'll uh, kind of see why I kind of explain a little bit further. But uh, I can appreciate a nice micro spinner. Uh, I do have another one that's on its way from Stealth Spinners. It is the, uh, the, the micro uh, Aventador. Uh, spinner and it is on its way so I'll be doing a review on that one here before too long but um, micro spinners are they do have their place in the spinner community I love these I think they're great they're stealthy they're perfect for me when I uh, when I use them at work uh, this fidget HQ uh, uh, Zentri uh, mini is uh, one of my favorites uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful spinner it has uh, a nice quiet bearing it is very very stealthy small easily uh, hidden in your pocket it is just a very very nice piece of work of course the uh, the VC EDC micro Triton V2 uh, this is probably has to be my very favorite uh, micro spinner just because what they've done with the proportions of the spinner in comparison to the uh, the full size. They've shrunk everything down, including the bearing, uh, whereas most of the micro spinners will keep uh, at least an R188 bearing in it. The, uh, the Micro Triton went down to a much, much smaller bearing. It is the uh, R166, and it is a puny little thing with a nice... Uh, has a nice retention ring so you can pull it out and change it out if you need to or clean it or you know maintain your spinner so this is definitely my favorite um, all of them are good in their own way I just enjoy the uh, the micro triton the most it does also have the best table spin time of any of these uh, micro spinners and uh, of course all of these I've done uh, review videos on you can go back and uh, and and check those out um, very nice spinners, all very, very good spinners, and uh, I definitely recommend these to anybody that uh, that wants a good micro spinner. These are all good in their own way. Uh, the Vorso flat top, like I said, the clone, I just had too many too many issues with it. It's too much of a headache, and uh, that of all the ones that you see pictured here, that is this is probably the one I would not uh, recommend if you can get an original Vorso flat top. More power to you. They're tough to come by from what I hear, and they're also uh, quite expensive. So, um, yeah, that's uh, a real quick uh, rant on the, the world of the micro spinner. Um, they do have their place in the spinner community. I recommend them. I love them. Um, I'll be getting more as, uh, you know, as the budget warrants. So, uh Definitely look forward to reviews in the future on uh, more micro spinners. So uh, stay tuned and we're going to move right on to the next uh, topic. All right, uh, next on my agenda today, I want to talk a little bit about uh, Amazon spinners. As you know, uh, earlier this year when uh, spinners really took off 
and just started just snowballing in popularity. Uh, Amazon was a real big part of that. And uh, over the time that I've been doing uh, spinner reviews, which has been a few months now, uh, a lot of the spinners that I picked up, I did pick up from Amazon. I didn't get a whole lot from uh, the other companies out there, Fidget HQ, Spinetic, VCEDC, uh, Zero Feud, um, and, and those type of vendors. I did get a lot of my spinners uh, from Amazon, and a lot of them today are still some of my favorite spinners. You know, you, you've you got the, uh, uh, the Infinite Spin uh, by Vertical Vitality, still one of my favorite spinners, a very, very nice spinner, a little large, but it is a beautiful spinner. Uh, definitely, uh, I think this is a staple for any any uh, spinner collection for sure. It is a very, very popular spinner. Um, a lot of good reviews. I absolutely love it. So, um, And this is an Amazon spinner. And that is what Amazon helped do with the spinner community is they put out some very, very nice spinners. Um, and then, as everybody knows, here recently, they had this issue and there was concern of lead in the spinners and mainly the Amazon spinners. So what Amazon did is they, uh, they had all these sellers pull their spinners off of Amazon until they were able to furnish... Uh, uh, MSDS sheets on their spinners, you know, talking about the lead content, and of course these are toys, and kids have these, and people are really, really freaking out about uh, lead being in the spinners. So, of course, until they went back and um, provided these MSDS sheets, uh, they had to pull their spinners off of Amazon, because obviously you're talking about liability issues and legal issues and stuff like that. So, uh, what I've seen here recently is slowly uh, the spinner availability, if you will, has really started to grow back again on on Amazon. And a lot of these spinners that are so very, very popular and um, getting a lot of sales on Amazon are making their way back. Uh, not all of them, of course, but uh, quite a few of them uh, have made their way back to the marketplace on Amazon. And now you are able to go back and, and get some of these. I had a lot of links that were no longer any good in some of my review videos. It's kind of unfortunate. But uh, I guess in the grand scheme of things, uh, what that did uh, with uh, limiting the availability of Amazon spinners, it actually helped promote and get more exposure to your higher end uh, USA made uh, bigger company spinners uh, like Spinetic Spinners and Zero Feud and Thrax and, and uh, 2R Designs and, and some of these other uh, companies out there that are putting out very, very good products. Um, so I guess it's kind of a win-win because -win, now that the exposure is out there for the uh, those companies that I mentioned, uh, one drop also included in that is you know everybody wins. Uh, those companies now got exposure, and I'm sure their sales have increased. Although there has been a decline in I think in the spinner popularity, uh, there are still. Uh, companies out there that are doing very, very well. Some of these spinners are really drawing quite uh, quite the price tag on some of these spinners that are getting harder and harder to find. You're getting spinners in, in you know, in three-digit range now, and they are doing well just because of, um, well, of course, they're limited drops and limited runs, and, and there's not, you know, as many of them out there, which is good for this uh, community because it puts a kind of a, a a collectability to these things not just a toy that you just set aside and forget about it they actually become desirable the the fewer that there are out there so anyway i don't want to keep ram rambling on about that this is uh just basically about what amazon uh has done for the spinner community the fact that they went away brought some more exposure to some of these other spinners you know you got like you got spinetic and, and you got 
uh, VC EDC it also is carried by Spinetic, and you know and Zero Feud, which uh, is a maker of the you know of course the Compass and and, and the Busy Minds uh, Mini Cortex. All of these companies um, have gotten a lot more exposure now, and I think that's a good thing for the community. Uh, Amazon now getting a lot of their spinners back. I think that is good for the community as well. And like I said, it, I think it's a win-win for everybody, and it will definitely uh, keep the spinner craze, if you will, keep the popularity of spinners alive and kicking, and that is an awesome thing. So... Um, that being said, that's kind of my little rant on Amazon spinners and what happened with those. And uh, I, I, too, am glad they're back. And um, I, I just think it's a win-win for everybody. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move on to my next little rant, my little topic of discussion. And uh, we'll go ahead and do that right now. All right. Uh, the next thing I kind of want to touch on here a little bit, uh, and there's plenty of videos out there. I know Timmy put one out, and there's a couple other people that have put out videos on uh, cleaning bearings. Now, I mean, there are a ton of different ways to do it. Some people just blow it out with uh, compressed air, or, you know, they rinse them out. You know, there, there's just so many different ways to do it. But what I want to do here real quick is I just want to kind of give you my method and uh, you can take that for what it's worth and, and run with it, or you can come up with your own method. Uh, it is something that's very important as far as maintaining these spinners and, and keeping them uh, spinning at, you know, optimal, optimal performance, um, which uh, just, you know, adds to the enjoyment of them. So real quick, let me touch on this real quick. And I got a couple of spinners out here. I have my infinite spin, my vertical vitality, and I also have my trithrax. And uh, the reason why I'm using these two is uh, this one here has a removable R188 bearing. And here's the way that I do it. And this is kind of, it works for both, but one, the, the, the bearing comes out of the spinner and in the other one the bearing uh, obviously stays in the spinner you can't take it out so uh, for let's say the, this one for instance what I would do is I will go ahead and I will take out um, the bearing itself I'll go ahead and pop it out and what I'll do is I will take it to the sink run some nice warm water uh, I have an old toothbrush that I use and uh, some Dawn soap and what I'll do is I'll run this under warm water and I will drip some Dawn soap into this and I'll kind of spin it a little bit. I'll take my toothbrush, my old toothbrush and kind of scrub in there a little bit and I turn it over and then I scrub the other side really, really good. And then I give it a nice rinse. And then what I'll do is I'll take it and I'll put it back into the spinner. And before I put the retaining ring on, I'll get the... Uh, the bearing placed in there nice and straight and I'll put the retaining ring back on uh, before I put the retaining ring back on I'll take the Dawn soap and I'll drip it into the bearing again and then I'll go ahead and put the retaining ring back on and I will spin it uh, you know a good 30 seconds or so and I'll flip it over and I'll spin it the other way so that it spins both ways uh, get the soap worked in there really really well and then what I will do is I will give it a very very nice uh, rinse I have some some decent uh, towels, uh, lint-free uh, paper towels that I use, and I kind of dab it. I'll dab it dry. Then what I will do is I will take uh, my can of compressed air, and I'll give a couple shots uh, of compressed air, blow uh, the remaining moisture out of it. And then I will take the uh, bearing, and I will drop it in some, I think I, mine's like 94% isopropyl alcohol in a little uh, Tupperware container. I'll drop it in there and I'll let it soak real good. I'll shake it up a few times, uh, get that, uh, that alcohol worked very well into the bearings. And then, uh, of course, I'll take my can of compressed air one more time and I will uh, blow it out really well. And then... Uh, put it all back together and usually what I do when I once I get it all back together is I'll give it another another shot of uh, compressed air while it's um, 
you know, in the spinner. I'll shoot it in there at the angle, both angles, and on both sides. I'll hit it really good with that compressed air and uh, put her back together and away they go. And of course you will definitely, definitely see an increase in spin times by doing that. So uh, definitely something uh, that you need to put in into your, into your routine as far as uh, your spinners go. Keep those bearings clean and they, you'll get a lot of years uh, use out of these things if you're not real, uh, real hard on your spinners. I know I'm pretty gentle on mine and uh, it just keeps them ticking. Like I've had this uh, spinner, one of my very first spinners. So I've had it, oh, upwards of, I don't know, I want to guess like uh, six months or so. And that might just be a guess, but somewhere around there. And it's never let me down. And I do keep the bearing nice and clean in this. And uh, same with the, uh, you know, all of my spinners. I, I do uh, routinely uh, take them out and, and clean the bearings out. And, uh, of course, it keeps them spinning great. And then you get, uh, here's the uh, one with a press fit uh, style of bearing. Actually, this one's glued in. Um, the Trithrax. And I do this one the same way, just with the, uh, with the bearing still in the spinner. Drip the soap in, you know, give it a nice scrub. Use the toothbrush. Throw the buttons back on. Spin it a few times. Give it a nice rinse. Uh, one more time, you know, hit them, hit them one more time with the soap. I mean, you can't really clean them too much, so you don't have to worry about that being an issue. Uh, hit them with that alcohol. It uh, dries very, very quickly, evaporates, you know, and doesn't leave anything behind. So it's uh, definitely uh, uh, a good way to do it. And like I said, that's how I do it. There are a lot of different ways to do it. Um, I guess it really doesn't matter how you do it just as long as you do it. Just uh, make sure it gets done and uh, you will get uh, much more enjoyment and longer spin times and stuff out of your spinners. So uh, that is my real quick uh, take on bearing cleaning. I just can't um, say enough how important it is to do it. Uh, make sure you do it and um, you'll, definitely, uh, you'll definitely be happier. And definitely be happier with your spinners. So uh, that being said, uh, Take that to heart and, um, you know, give me your thoughts, what you think about how, uh, how I clean mine, possibly how I could do it a little bit differently. I'm always open to suggestions. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to move on to my next little topic of discussion, and we'll do that right now. All right, this last little portion uh, of this uh, video, it's kind of going to be a little medley of a couple different things. Um, first off, uh, well, I just threw my Trillium out there just so that there's something to look at. I guess I could have done FaceTime with this portion of the video, but it's not that big a deal. I'm sure people would rather see a nice uh, one-drop Trillium rather than my ugly mug. So, uh, But anyway, a couple different things. Um, uh, first off, I just want to give a, a couple different uh, uh, reviews that are coming up. I just want to put a, a quick, uh, quick note out there. Um, I have a couple of stealth spinners coming. I have the, uh, the full-size stainless steel Aventador coming as well as the uh, the micro uh, Aventador. Uh, I have a couple of uh, Amazon uh, aluminum spinners that uh, I've had for quite some time now. I haven't done a review on them because of the fact that, uh, that they were actually pulled off of Amazon for a while so you couldn't even get them. So, uh, But now uh, they are back so I am going to go ahead and do a review on those as well. So look for those uh, coming up on the channel here in the uh, the coming weeks. Um, uh, one more thing I want to hit. Actually, there's two more things. Uh, next up, I want to kind of I want to give a shout out to uh, Timmy Hobby Timmy, as he is known as uh, in the YouTube uh, spinner community. Uh, he's, you find him out there on the uh, the Daily Fidget and uh, uh, on Facebook, and he is. Uh, quite the comical guy. Um, I like his videos. I get a lot of uh, um, ideas and stuff from him and, you know, suggestions. I, you know, I message him quite a bit and, and you know, I comment on his videos and and uh, communicate with him that way. And, and uh, I enjoy watching his channel. It's nice and light and it kind of, it, uh, it's a good way to start my day. I'm always looking forward to a video from him when I wake up in the morning. 
So uh, I do want to give him a nice shout out. If you're not already a subscriber to his channel, definitely check that out. He is uh, a great reviewer. Uh, very nice guy, hardworking guy, uh, looks like a, a real good family kind of guy, and uh, I can be down with that for sure. So, uh, Timmy, I want to uh, give you my thanks. I appreciate uh, the kind words that you've given me. It is a good thing, and of course, everybody in this community, there are a lot of great reviewers out there. Uh, a couple quick shout-outs out there. Sal, who uh, I've never seen him do a video with FaceTime, but I've gotten some good information from him as well through his videos. Uh, Speedy Tech Solutions, uh, the uh, oh, Mr. Average Singaporean. Uh, matter of fact, I don't even know his name, but I enjoy his videos. Uh, they're nice and light and they're fun. And uh, of course, Dave over there at Dave's World. Uh, good stuff there as well. Does a lot more than just spinners. He's got a, he kind of branches off in a couple of different directions. So, uh, my thanks to those guys. Uh, and of course, there are guys out there that, uh, of course I missed and, and, you know, I didn't mean to do that, but, um, you all know who you are. Uh, I do appreciate the subscribers that have subscribed to my channel. I'm getting up there a little bit in subscribers. Uh, uh, I'd love to have more. Um, and that kind of leads me into uh, my next little topic, and that uh, being, uh, I get a lot of messages from people, uh, when are you going to do a giveaway? Why haven't you done giveaways? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Um, all of these spinners that I do reviews on, and the ones that are in my collection, uh, I have personally bought with my own money. Uh, I've gone to work and, and done the research and, and, and bought these. And uh, I have not gotten uh, any free merchandise, spinners, or anything from anybody to review. Or and, and I know that's what a lot of these guys do. They give these things away. They, you know, they get them to review from, from the vendors. And they'll do a review on them. And they maybe send them a couple or whatever. And one for them to keep. And then they end up giving one away, which is... It's great for the community because it keeps people involved and it, it uh, gets more people interested. And I think that is a good thing. But, uh, you know, everybody has different uh, financial situations and budgets and, and uh, you know, and so on and so forth. And, and to me, it's about... Um, I collect these. Uh, not only do I review, review them, but I enjoy them. I collect them. I use them. And I do take great pride in my collection, and uh, I also take great pride knowing that and I purchased each and every one of them. And um, so all of the reviews that I'm going to give you on, on these spinners are very, very honest reviews. Uh, I'm not being paid by anybody to do them, and I'm not being given any free spinners or anything like that. So... Um, you know, that I, I hope that kind of clears it up why that I do not do giveaways. I would love to do giveaways. I'm looking forward to doing giving a, uh, doing giveaways. And I'm guessing uh, eventually my collection is going to get to the point where it's a little bit overwhelming. Uh, the wife is already, you know, starting to freak a little bit because of the fact that, you know, I have so many of these and uh, probably should thin out the collection and, and maybe at some point... Um, I will do that. I will, you know, thin my collection out and get rid of some of these, and that's how I will get rid of them. I will not throw them on eBay or do anything like that. I will give them away to subscribers through my channel. So I hope that kind of, uh, you know, gives you an insight as to why I don't, I don't just give spinners away. Uh, I did see uh, one video uh, out there. Uh, I, I believe it was Dave's World. He had like 20 of the Angry Wolf spinners. And I, I'm i guessing he didn't go out and buy all those. But he did give all of those away. And and uh, and like I said before, that's a good thing. Uh, if you can give these things away and get other people involved and, and, and promote uh, the industry and promote the hobby, that I think is a great thing. So hopefully that's something I'll be able to do here in the future. Um, as of right now, like I said, I am still purchasing all of my spinners. I haven't had anybody reach out to me uh, from any of the vendors asking me to do any reviews for them. So I'm sure if and when that happens, um, I will be doing some giveaways myself. So um, 
that is pretty much going to wrap up this video. I know it's been long and long-winded, and I'm sorry to keep you watching for so long, but those are my thoughts on uh, on the different topics today. I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Do me a favor, click the like button down below. Uh, if you would be so kind, there'll also be a uh, subscription button up in the corner. Be sure to hit that if you haven't already. And a couple other videos on this side uh, to watch as well. So once again, I want to thank you for hanging out with me today. Do me a favor. Keep calm. Spin on. Peace.